That is welcome to a walk around of a first floor apartment here on La Torre Golf Resort. I'm literally standing here in the town centre, pretty much. Uh, the building over here is the, the conference centre, through there is the clubhouse. If I just look to my left, that's our office just on the corner there, and that is basically the main square down to Joe's Bar, the Clover Par, the Italian restaurant, etc. So we're very, very central here, right bang in the middle of the town centre. So just gonna have a little walk through this and see what you think. Now the reference of this apartment on our website, which of course you can get to, just go to golfpropertystore.com. Um, it's LT1236, okay? And you can see pictures and obviously more information there. But I feel that these are working very well. Well, they certainly seem to be. Um, so I just wanted to get a video on the site for you as well. So walking into here, into the actual block, as you can see, it's an enclosed block. Um, not open to the elements at all. Um, so you generally find then the stairways and the landings and everything are always very, very well kept. Of course, they are cleaned every two weeks. In summer, that increases to every week. Lift here, of course, to all floors, including the underground parking space. Don't forget, all apartments on La Torre come with an underground parking space. That's the stairway there down to the parking area as well. And this over here is the door out to the communal garden and pool area. Okay, so this apartment basically looks straight onto a, a large big communal kind of pool and garden area, lawn area. So, um, and like you've just seen before we came in, um, it's perfectly placed um, for everything really. The, the large supermarket is also around about three minute walk. I'm gonna walk up the stairs because it's just the first floor. Um, but obviously as you can see there, you do have lift access. And this is the apartment here. Okay, so walking in, you walk straight into a nice, big, bright lounge. The layouts internally of these apartments that are on the kind of big squares with the pools and things in the middle, generally internally they are bigger um, than the ones that look onto the, onto the golf. There are exceptions, of course, um, because there are about, you know, 10 different styles here. Um, so all of them differ a little bit, but you always find that these ones are really nice and spacious. So you've got a very large AC unit there. Big unit. Um, so you've got, as always, of course, you've got gas central heating throughout as well. It's one of the radiators there. There's another one over here. And of course, they're, they're throughout all the bedrooms and the bathroom as well. Um, so again, as with all apartments so, or all properties on the Torrey, you have full gas central heating throughout and your hot water is also ran by your gas boiler. It's a combi boiler, right? Um, similar to the combis you get back home. So TV over here. Now they've set this up really odd. Um, the first thing you notice is there's no actual dining table in here. That's simply because they've decided to put the dining table outside. That's obviously where they, where they eat more than, more than anything. So they've actually put it outside and they've set it up differently in here. So you've got a two seater and a three seater. One thing I actually notice is that there's kind of books holding one bit up where obviously just the leg is broke, the, the little kind of screw on leg. So they've just put that up there. They've just done that as a temporary measure. But I've looked at the actual couch and it's in actually very good condition. So I think that would be, I don't know if you'd want to replace the whole thing. Personally, I would just get that fixed. That would be easy enough to, to get a part, made to, part made to fix that. Really nice and bright, like I said. Paintwork looks spotless to me. Um, that's the same for the block um, as well. Of course, all of the blocks on the Torrey have recently all been repainted. So the vast majority are in very good condition now. So access to your terrace out there. You've got a double door there and you've also got a single door there. These guys have actually put one of the couches there as you can see, but you've got two, two access points from here out to the terrace. If you take a left, this is into your kitchen. So see fridge freezer, as soon as you walk in, got your ceramic hob, oven, hood, slimline dishwasher there, and washing machine there. And your boiler will be behind this cupboard here. Really nice, bright kitchen. Everything here, present and correct. It's a good size, personally, I think it's just gagging for this to be taken out and just made it open plan, you know, that would open up the whole apartment. <clears throat> but then that's personal choice. Personally, I like to open plan, open plan everything, but it's there to be done, you know, if you wanted. I actually sold a ground floor exact similar style to this recently, and that's what they did. They actually took this all out, 
and open planned it all and it did look fantastic. Okay, turning left brings us down towards the bathroom and the two bedrooms. So it's kind of this hallway area here. First door you hit is the left and it is the bathroom. So you've got a full size bath there. Um, curtain rail, got a large towel rail here, towel heater. That's part of the gas central system, but the gas central heating system basically. Um, you've also got your, your shower head there. You can see it, the, the actual ceiling, it's a little bit flaky, um, but there's no staining, you know, in other words, it's not any water damage coming from upstairs. I think that's more to do with not enough ventilation or this room being closed up for so long. So it just needs aired, and that needs scraped back and just repainted quickly. It's an easy job. When you leave these apartments too long without airing them, you do get things like that. B-Day down here, which um, I always say in, in many other videos, most people take out to make for room for, you know, a, another cabinet, a towel cabinet or something. And then you've got your, obviously your, your sink unit here. All good to go. The whole apartment throughout is in good condition. Obviously it needs a good clean. It's been empty for quite a while. Obviously, as you know, nobody's been able to travel at the moment. Um, but like I say, just that really, just needs scraped back and repainted, but that's a nothing job. So coming out of the kitchen, uh, sorry, the bathroom rather, back into the hallway area. Bedroom two is directly ahead. So it's been set up as a twin, and that's two full-size single beds there. You can see still plenty of space in here. Fitted wardrobe. This is where the pre-installation for the AC is. So they, they've got the large AC unit in the lounge, as you've seen when we walked in, but it's just pre-installation in here. Um, which means all the piping is there, the wiring is there if you actually chose to put AC units in the bedrooms. AC guys come in, fit it and out within two hours, you know, it's a very, very simple job. Again, all good. Coming out of, oh sorry, just while we're in here, just to let you know, looking out of these doors here. It's not a terrace, it's just like your double doors with like a, a balcony across it at the other side. And that just looks directly out onto kind of parking. And that's the entrance there to the clubhouse. So basically right next to the to the clubhouse, as you've seen before we came in. Out of bedroom two, back into the hallway area. So that's your bathroom there. We're gonna take a left now into the master. It's a big room, this one. So it's a really nice, spacious bedroom. Set up as two singles again. As you can see, a kind of double wardrobe goes all the way across. And of course, this has access directly out onto the terrace from here as well. So it's a bigger room and obviously has access out onto the terrace, which is why we would always regard this as the master. Okay, I can go out to the terrace from here, but I'm gonna go round just to, to try and keep you as familiar as possible within the apartment. So coming out of the master, back out into the small hallway area. So you've got bedroom two just to your right. You've got the bathroom directly ahead. Now we're gonna head back down towards the lounge. This is, as always, filmed in 4K. If you see it as soon as it hits YouTube, it can take a little bit of time to process, but it is worth to pop back. And don't forget, if you've got any questions or anything like that, just email us on inquiries at polarisworld.org.uk. Put it for attention of Andy, and it will be replied to as soon as possible, usually pretty much straight away. Community fees for this apartment, 151 euros per month. Don't forget, on Latori, that includes unlimited fiber optic broadband at a speed of 50 megabit, which is quick. You know, it's, it's completely stable as well. It's absolutely perfect. Um, on Latori, you can actually pay um, very little actually to, to go up as high as 600 megabit now speed. Um, but the internet is fantastic in here and basically the whole resort has now been upgraded to fiber optic. Price of the apartment, 87,995, which makes this one of the best priced ones we've got on at the moment. Right, let's go out to the terrace and check this out because this is a great massive big terrace here. So like I said, they've actually decided to put their, the dining table out here. Um, really nice big terrace, very wide and kind of starts from here and goes around here. This is obviously your access from the master. So you've got the four, the table and four chairs here just to your right. You've got a, a set here, a three seat, a set here and two singles with a glass table in the middle. And you've got a storage cupboard over here as well. There's just some deck chairs and things just down here, which no doubt is used for the pool. So this is your, your way out from the master. 
It is a really, really good sized terrace. View off the terrace, literally straight onto the pool. So you've got a kind of a kiddie pool here, like a toddler pool if you like. And then you've got two large pools side by side for adults there. Orientation, if I stand back completely here, that is pretty much west. And that is pretty much northwest, so it's kind of in the middle. So in other words, you're going to get the sun this time of year, um, which is we're in June now, of course. Um, so you'll start getting it coming around within the next hour or so. It's now two o'clock, so about 3, 3.30 onwards, you'll start getting the sun. Of course, in summer, the sun is very high in the sky, don't forget. So unless you're a ground floor with a big garden or a top floor, you're never going to get the sun coming onto your terrace. But in winter, that's different. The sun's a lot lower. So in winter, you will get a lot of sun coming on late afternoon, evening onto the terrace. It's a great apartment, greater price, 87,995. I mean, if you wanna be right bang in the middle of it all and have some really good space, this has got some great outside space. Um, this is a big terrace, you know, much bigger than usual. Um, so if you want all of that and be kind of within stumbling distance of the clubhouse, Pino's, Clover, Italian restaurant, Joe's Cafe, uh, Tapas, and then of course the supermarket as well, it's just a couple of minutes around the corner. So it's a great, a great location. Any questions, guys, just let me know. Um, like I say, you can always get us on inquiries at polarisworld.org.uk. If you wanted to call us from the UK, 0208 090 3631. If you're here in Spain, 968 032 042.